Hello and welcome to another exclusive early access video. In today's video I will be looking at the new and improved look at the hub in Life Beyond. As you can see the characters look more realistic and not very cartoon like. And the hub actually looks quite good. It looks like how you'd expect a spaceship to look, a futuristic spaceship. Not sure what this is, looks like an engine drive of sorts. But as you can see it's highly detailed. There's a little bit of lag when I'm running around but uh, it's not so bad. I think it's some sort of hyper engine. Let's see if I can go behind here. Okay, I can go behind here. Can jump off of things. This looks like a platform where they beam you up. Standard control panels. Let's see what's downstairs. Seems to be like a kind of a lounge here. The detail is it's quite good actually. A uh, desk for reading with some reading lights. Let's see where this goes. Okay, so we are quite closer to the planet Dolos now. As you can see, you can basically look out of the window and actually see the, the Dolos planet like right up front. This is quite cool actually. Just look at that landscape, how nice it looks. Seems to be some sparks flying out of the floor. It's never a good thing, but I guess in video games it's kind of okay. The same old uh, information that was accessible to us in the previous hub is still basically the same. In regards to the military contract, I guess there's some South African nationals here as well <laughs> who were part of the part of the foundation of this whole expedition. See in the gallery. Okay, that's some really nice pictures of the the planet Tolos and I guess it explains some of the flora and the fauna. Reminiscent of biology textbooks. The dominant species is grass. If I'm not mistaken, I could see some of the grass outside, which was actually... It looked as though it was moving, as though there was wind. I'll have to look at that again. It's quite nice. And the different stages of the grass, crater fields, very cool. It's like National Geographic of an alien planet. And here's some of the plants which grow there. This definitely does look like a biology textbook. And some seed plants. That kind of looks cool. And let's see on the other side of the ship. Even the glass which separates this area from the next area I'm not sure if you can see, but you can even see scratches on the glass. That's how detailed this game has gotten. Like, 
everything looks so much more clearer and amazing actually. Let's jump over there. If I'm not mistaken, I actually did see some of the grass move with the wind, so that's just a very cool thing to see. On the next video, I'll try the solo combat training. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification button. Until next time, bye.